Do you know about Excel Secret Camera Trick? It's a great tool for resizing tables and graphs so you can put them into dashboards and reports really easily. Let's see how you can do it. Okay, so to enable the camera feature, firstly, we have to add it to our quick access toolbar. So the quick access toolbar is just a menu where we can save all our most recently used or our favorite icons. So to get access to that, if you go to just the top of the ribbon and just to the right of the save button, there's a little down arrow there. So if you left mouse click there, and if you put in more commands, that will bring you through to the QAT or the Q quick access toolbar. You can also go to file, options and then on the left hand side of the screen here just quick access toolbar now once we're in the quick access toolbar you'll see uh, up the top here where it says popular commands we're just going to change that in the drop down and we're going to go to all commands and we'll just wait for the screen uh, to update that there we're just going to select one of the icons and we're going to press c because we're looking for the camera function so that bring us down to everything that begins with c and then if we just scroll down just a few items we should see the camera icon just there. We're then gonna add that and then hit okay. You can see that's added that to the top of our screen, uh, there a little camera icon. So what does the camera function do? Well, what it does is it effectively takes a picture of some data that you've got in your worksheet here and that allows you to effectively resize it but it remains 100 linked to the original data so it's fully dynamic so easier just to go in and just uh, show you through as an example so if i select my data table here and then just hit my camera icon and then i'm just going to select where i want to put my photograph just down below here you can see then it produces this table here but this is effectively if i see at the top is saved as a picture format so i can go in into the picture format and just take out the outline and so on so i've got a nice clean table similar to above but what i can do is i can resize that nicely so it's not linked it's not linked to sales per se but it is linked to the original data so if i change say the sales from 2022 to 3000 and hit return see that that's fully dynamic and that links into the picture down below i'm just going to control z that so what we can also do is we can take a picture of a bar graph. So if I take as an example here, this uh, bar graph to the right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the area around it. I'm going to go to the top again, select my camera. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm just going to paste it uh, in here. So you can see then we have a nice clean picture uh, there. And what we can do is we can resize that any way we want so you can get that into a nice small area so again great for pacing those into dashboards in particular and if we just go to the top and we want to change some of the sales so just in the year 2019 and I hit return you can see that's fully dynamic so that's really really cool i hope you found that tip useful if you did please like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one